Hey everybody, it's John Baker for Timeline Enterprises and this is a history short. Uh, as you can see, if you see the uniform, let me back up a little bit so you can see it. Uh, as you can see, it is uh, the black pajamas, a black boonie uh, with, with the Vietnamese seal on it. Now let me let you get a closer look. That is the Vietnamese military emblem and uh, this particular uniform uh, would be typical of, of the, the uh, Vietnamese in uh, South Vietnam and North Vietnam. Uh, became identified as the uniform for the um, v, VC, Viet Cong, Vietnamese Communists. It was also just popular garb for any civilian. Uh, so as you can see, this is, is what typically would be worn. Uh, it's very airy, very thin cottonish, uh, cotton material, and therefore it breathes and it was very good for, for working with, with uh, the, the jungles. Uh, the, the black uh, is, is uh, typically, anybody could wear it, but um, more apt to be worn by the North Vietnamese um, South of, uh, Civil Defense, Self Defense, uh, the, the Defense Forces, basically. This was how you could tell the way, way they were. Well, the weapon that they would mostly use, uh, as well as within the military and the VC, would actually be uh, the SKS. And let me go ahead and, and show you a little bit of what we got here. All right. This is the SKS. SKS. This is the uh, cover that, that sometimes the SKS would be in. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's Chinese marked. Uh, the sling is also Chinese marked, but I can't show that to you very easily. This is the ammo pouch. These are um, reproductions of Vietnamese hand grenades, uh, which, which are very, very easily made. They were uh, basically a jungle make. Then the typical Ho Chi Minh sandals that everybody uh, hears talk about and everything like that. That's that's that. Okay, so that is the the typical uh, equipment and stuff of of the the, uh, the Vietnamese. Now, what I want to show you real quick is this is a stripper clip. Okay, this is uh, what holds all the rounds for the SKS. And in the ammo pouch you saw, you, you could put uh, two stripper clips per each pouch. Each pouch uh, had, had uh, room to be able to put two. Well, not only that, but in this you'll be able to see down here, they also had an oil bottle for cleaning and everything like that. That oil bottle would be, be used for, for that. Uh, so with, with that, uh, what I, I want to show you also uh, here is the difference in the calibers. 7.62.39, this is what's fired by the SKS, also the AK-47. This is the 308. Okay, These, this is the M14, this is the, the, the SK, SKS. As you can see, there's a difference in size. Not a difference in the bullet, this part, but a difference in the casing. The casing is slightly bigger for this than, than the uh, 39. So it goes to tell you, this is 39 centimeters is, is the length of this, this cartridge. Uh, this one, I want to say is 45. I'm not sure, I'd have to look it up again. But that's, that's the difference. That, that is what, uh, this is what's fired out of the SKS. And it just goes on the slipper, stripper clip, which what you do is there's a little clip right here. You push up against it and it slides right on in. Okay, now the thing about stripper clips is they can be a little on the temperamental side when trying to, to load load the SKS. So there may or may not be a problem there. We don't know yet. Now this is the SKS itself. 
okay the SKS 762 by 39 safety is is in the trigger right here that means it's ready to fire up means it's safe it also has an integral uh, magazine this magazine has to be removed uh, by by way of of a screw on the opposite side right here if you want to put a different magazine on now there are other magazines which can be gotten for this but they are aftermarket they're not the the regular issue and the other thing about this is it has the bayonet attached so if need be you have a long reach towards the enemy and uh it's it's a nice little piece here now the 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 um spike bayonet like this is very common in in the sks but there was another one that was also available uh which was a blade so it was a blade in that that would fit up under here as well now when loading the sks like i said it's it can be temperamental but you pull the bolt back right like that okay this notch right here is where you end up putting the stripper clip so let me go ahead and grab that and it holds 10 rounds so hopefully it won't give us a problem t today uh, looks like it might so what we'll do is get the first one to feed See if we can get the rest of these to to go in. Now, part of the reason it it has a problem is because it's it's a staggered magazine, so therefore the rounds have to push in in a way that um, will stagger them and get them to stack on top of each other. And sometimes they want to work. Sometimes they don't. Like right now, they don't want to work very well. But we are going to get them in. We'll get this last one to fit in there. Ouch. And then let it go forward and it seats the round. Now at this point we're ready to fire. Now I just came back from putting the range, putting a, a weapon or a target down there and uh, where we're going to go ahead and fire at it. Now people previous videos have said about hearing protection. Very important. I went out and got some so we're all set. At this point, what you might want to do is uh, change your, your volume settings so that we can fire the SKS. So here we go. Now that's firing the SKS. 10 rounds, holds it back, reload it, it's ready to go. So that is the SKS, the standard weapon, or one of the standard weapons of the Vietnamese forces uh, during Vietnam War against the US. This is John Baker, this has been a history short.